Okay, I'd like to review with you today how to get the equation for a sine curve. The general form of the equation of a sine curve is y equals a times sine of the quantity bt plus c plus d, where a is the amplitude, b is determined by frequency, c is the horizontal or phase shift, and d is the vertical shift. I suggest first finding out the value of the vertical shift. You find this by drawing a horizontal line that will bisect your curve. So in this example, you'll notice that I drew a line bisecting the curve, and that line is at y equals 2. So your d value is going to have a value of positive 2. Once you have your d value, you then measure how far it is from that center line to the highest point of, the, of your curve. In this case, we go from 2 to 4, so that's an amplitude of 2. So after you get your d, you then want to find the amplitude. Once you have the amplitude, you then want to determine if there's any phase shift. Here are the four most common phase shifts. A C value of zero means there is no phase shift and you get a perfect sine curve. A, a C value of pi over two says that you have a phase shift that causes your graph to start at its highest point. A phase shift of pi looks like a sine curve, but you'll know if, notice that it starts out heading down instead of heading up. The final phase shift is three pi over two, and that's a sine curve that starts at the lowest point. So these are your four most common phase shifts, and that's what you determine next. For our graph, you'll notice that we start at the highest point of the curve. So that means we have a phase shift of pi over 2. The final thing that you need to find is the B value. To find the B value, you first determine the frequency. You determine the frequency by counting the number of cycles in a given amount of time. In this example, I counted the cycles in one second and you'll notice that there are three complete cycles in one second, so that's a frequency of three hertz. What you then do with that is b is equal to two pi times that frequency. So you take your two pi, you multiply by the frequency of three, and you get six pi. So our final equation says y equals two sine six pi t plus pi over two plus two. The first two is your amplitude, your 6 pi is determined by the frequency, the pi over 2 is your phase shift, and the 2 is your vertical shift.